This video is sponsored by AE Juice. Hello, all creative filmmakers. In today's video, we are going to review, I Want It All Bundle Lifetime, of AE Juice. If you are a video editor or motion graphics artist, you won't want to miss this. So, what is the I Want It All Bundle Lifetime, of AE Juice? Well, it's a collection of over 30,000 plus professionally designed assets, for After Effects and Premiere Pro that includes everything, from animations, transitions, presets, and plugins. And the best part is, you get lifetime access to all of it. Ready to import the world's most extensive and complete 30,000 plus animation assets library in 300 plus different categories, leverage the AE Juice library that took more than $2 million to create over six years to serve your clients better and speed up production time, work smart, not hard. Let's take a closer look at what's included in the bundle. As you can see, there is a huge variety of animations and transitions to choose from, and they are all fully customizable. And if you're looking for some unique effects to enhance your videos, the bundle also includes a free plugin that's called AE Juice Pack Manager for managing your assets. Now, let's talk about the value. I Want It All Bundle Lifetime of AE Juice retails for $8,412, which may seem like a lot, but if you click on my link in the video description, and you will get 99% off for the I Want It All Bundle Lifetime, which is only $149. Get 70 plus packages with huge discounts. It is a limited time offer and includes only products that are available right now. And if you're not ready to commit to lifetime access, eJuice also offers separate single packages at a low cost, which is still a great deal. Now, I will show you how to use the I Want It All bundle of eJuice. In today's video, I am going to discuss only four packages, such as the Light Swipe Transitions package, Burning Transitions Package Split Screen Package and Title Package I will show you how to use them in Premiere Pro. Now we are inside Premiere Pro. First of all, we have to download and install the AE Juice Pack Manager plugin. After installing the AE Juice Pack Manager, go to the Window menu. Then, move over to the extension. Next, we have to click on AE Juice Pack Manager 4. Wow, as you can see, this is our Aegis Pack Manager. The interface of the AE Juice Pack Manager is very user-friendly. And, as you can see, our all-purchased package is here. And, here you can see some free assets. AE Juice offers a free starter pack, which is free of cost. You can use the starter pack in After Effects and Premiere Pro. AE Juice offers VFX, sound effects, and some favorite assets in this free starter pack. Also, you can purchase different single packs from their store. There are a lot of packs such as Color Grading LUT, Magic Pack, Big Impact, Glowy Effect, Universe Pack, and more. Which is very helpful for video editors and motion designers. If you use my link in the video description to buy a specific pack, you will get extra bonus. Let's see the Light Swipe Transitions Pack. I am going to show you how to use the Light Swipe Transitions in Premiere Pro. Now, double-click on the Light Swipe Transitions Pack and it will open in a new tab. This is a more convenient feature in this AE Juice Pack Manager plugin. Here, you can see, there are a lot of light swipe transitions in this pack. I hope this will help you for making music videos, travel videos, and many others action scenes. As you can see, I have already got some video footage in the timeline, and I will apply some of my favorite light swipe transitions in these video clips. Let's preview the video. Well, this is great. Remember one thing, always try to take the best footage for your project. Because perfect footage makes your editing process easier. By the way, move the playhead to the middle position between two video clips, where you want to apply the light swipe transitions. Let's zoom the timeline a little bit. Next, choose your favorite transitions. I am going to apply this light swipe transition number 46. This is very attractive for my video clip. Let's drag and drop this on top of the video layer. 
As you can see in the timeline, basically, the transition is an MP4 or MOV file. So, you can blend it into any mode. The most advantage is you can use it as a video effect and a transition. As you can see in the timeline, it comes with an audio layer. We don't need this audio layer of the light swipe transition. So, I am going to remove it. Then, move the light swipe transition to the middle position between two clips. Now we are done. Let's preview. As you can see, it looks great. Next, I am going to add another light swipe transition in the second cut position. That's why, move the playhead to the middle position between two video clips, where you want to apply the light swipe transitions. Then, I am going to apply this light swipe transition number 52. This is very attractive for my video clip. Let's drag and drop this on top of the video layer. We don't need this audio layer of the light swipe transition, so, I am going to remove it. Then, move the light swipe transition to the middle position between two clips. Now we are done. Let's preview. As you can see, it looks great. Now, I am going to make it blend mode. Let's move over to the effect controls panel. From the blend, I am going to select normal to linear dodge, add. Now we are done. Let's preview the video. As you can see, it looks great. In the same way, I am going to apply another light swipe transition in the third cut position. That's why, move the playhead to the middle position between two video clips, where you want to apply the light swipe transitions. Next, move over to the AE Juice Pack Manager. Then, I am going to apply this light swipe transition number 48. Let's drag and drop this on top of the video layer. Then, move the light swipe transition to the middle position between two clips. Now we are done. Let's preview. As you can see, it looks great. In this way, you can use all the light swipe transitions in your video. I hope you understand the method. As you can see, I have applied all essential transitions in my video clip. Let's preview the final video. Now, I am going to show you my other favorite pack burning transitions, and how to use it inside Premiere Pro. This is the Burning Transitions pack, which is very attractive and useful for every video editor. Here, you can see, there are a lot of burning transitions. This pack has six different categories, such as, burning film transitions, burning paper transitions, which is very useful for music videos, Luma Matte Burning Film Transitions, and Luma Matte Burning Paper Transitions, for Luma Matte Transitions you need to use Track Matte Key Effects. If you don't know how to use the Luma Matte in Premiere Pro, I have a previous video about this topic, so you can watch that video by clicking on the right corner eye icon, and the last two categories are Overlay Burning Film Transitions, and Overlay Burning Paper Transitions, which are a great deal for every video editor. Now, I am going to show you how to use this Burning Paper Transitions. As you can see in the timeline, I have already got two video footage. First of all, we have to select these two video clips. Then, move over to the AE Juice Pack Manager. And, select your favorite transition. I am going to apply this 5 number burning paper transition. Now, select this transition. And then, click on Import. It will automatically import and place in the cut point between two video clips. As you can see, the transition is automatically placed in this position. If we move the playhead to this transition section, you will see the placeholder text in the program monitor. Don't worry about this. I am going to show you how to solve this problem. That's why, move over to the project panel. Here, you can see two sequences have been automatically created in the AE Juice folder for Burning Paper Transition 6. The first one is for placeholder 1. And the second one is for placeholder 2. Let's select the transition, and you will see in the Essential Graphics panel, there are two placeholders. 
Now, we have to place this first sequence in this placeholder 1. Let's drag and drop this first sequence into this placeholder 1. Next, we have to drag and drop this second sequence into this placeholder 2. Now, you can see there is no placeholder watermark on the program monitor. Let's preview the video with the burning paper transition. Wow, it looks cool. This is perfect. As you can see, the transition is perfectly applied in the videos. In the same way, you can use all the burning paper transitions. I will make a separate video about this full burning transitions pack. In the next step, I am going to show you how to use split screen packs in Premiere Pro. Here, you can see the split screens pack, which is a very useful pack of the I Want It All bundle. Let's see how we can use split screens in our videos. As you can see, there is a total of nine different categories of this pack. Animated frames, which is an MP4 or MLV file, animated frames with grain, still frames, which is a PNG format, still frames clean, there is no grain in these frames, still frames grain. Also, you can see the vertical frames, which are great for TikTok, Instagram Reels, Shorts, or any vertical videos. As you can see in this pack, there are a lot of different styles of split-screen frames. Now, I am going to show you how we can use them. Let's move over to the Animated Frames category. From this category, let's select this frame. And then, click on Import. It will automatically import into the timeline. As you can see in the program monitor, there are three different frames, which are transparent. Let's move this animated split screen frame to video layer 4, because we have to place three different videos in video layers 1, 2, and 3. The next step, let's move over to the project panel. As you can see here, I have already got three different videos. Let's drag and drop this first video into the timeline in video layer 3. Next, select this video and move over to the effect controls panel. From the motion control panel, we have to resize and reposition the video. As you can see, our video is perfectly placed in this top frame. Again, move over to the project panel. Then, drag and drop the second video into the timeline in video layer 2. In the same way, select the video and move over to the effect controls panel. After that, from the motion control panel, we have to resize and reposition the video. As you can see on the program monitor, our video is perfectly placed in this bottom frame. Lastly, in the same way, we have to place another video rest of the frame. Also, you can place the video by using the mask tool. If you don't know how to perfectly mask your video, then, I have a previous video about it. You watch the video by clicking the right corner eye icon. As you can see in the program monitor, our three videos have been placed perfectly in the three split frames. Let's cut off the extra parts and remove them. If we move the playhead to the forward, you can see in the program monitor, there is no split screen frame because we don't apply the split screen frame to the whole video. If we try to increase the split screen duration, it's not possible because the split screen frame is fixed. That's why we have to duplicate this frame. You can do this by holding the ALT key and dragging it forward. In the same way, we have to place the split screen frame in the whole video. Now we are done. Let's preview the video with a split screen. As you can see, it looks perfect. In this way, you can use all the split screen frames in Premiere Pro. There is a lot of different styles of split screen frames in this split screens pack of AE Juice. This pack is perfect for any video editor. In the final step, I am going to show you another pack which is titles. In this pack, you will get a huge amount of titles, lower thirds, and many more. As you can see, there are 7 different categories in this pack, which are resizable and very easy to use such as box titles, brushes titles, callouts, descriptions, lower thirds, simple titles, and YouTube assets. Before importing the titles, you can see the preview from here. This is a big advantage of this AE Juice Pack Manager. 
As you can see in the timeline, I have already got a sample video. Let's see how we can use the titles. First of all, move over to the lower third panel. Then, let's select a lower thirds. Then, click on import. It will automatically import into the timeline, as you can see in the timeline. This is our lower thirds. You can customize this lower thirds from the Essential Graphics panel. As you can see in the Essential Graphics panel, the first text placeholder is for text 2. You can edit the second text from here. And, the second text placeholder is for text 1. You can edit the first text from here. By the way, all titles in this pack are resizable. It will automatically resize as per your text. If we increase the text size it will automatically resize. This is a very awesome feature of this pack. Also, you can change the text font that you like. From the color panel, you can change the color of the text, box, and shadows. Wow, this is amazing. Also as you can see in the essential graphics panel, here is the control panel of the title. You can control your title, text, and box. Resize the full title as your choice. You can control your titles very easily from the essential graphics panel. The interface of the control panel is very user-friendly. So, you can resize and reposition your titles perfectly. After that, you can increase and decrease the duration of the full title. And, it will automatically fade out and fade in. Let's see the preview. As you can see in the program monitor, it looks great. In this way, you can use and customize all the titles of this pack. By the way, I hope you understand how to use and customize these titles pack. If you are a video editor and a motion designer, the I Want It All bundle is for you. All packages are in this bundle very wonderful and fantastic. So, what's my final verdict on the I Want It All bundle lifetime of AE Juice? If you're a professional video editor or motion graphics artist, this bundle is definitely worth the investment. The amount of high-quality assets you get access to is unparalleled, and the lifetime access means you'll never have to worry about paying for assets again. So, if you're interested in checking out the I Want It All Bundle Lifetime of AE Juice, click on my link in the description and you will get 99% off for the I Want It All Bundle Lifetime. It is a limited time offer and includes only products that are available right now. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, like the video and leave a comment.